There's nothing more annoying than getting hundreds and hundreds of emails through your contact form on your website and it being spam. You get those emails and you think it's a new inquiry, but it actually turns out to be spam. So in today's video, I'm going to keep it short and simple, and I'm going to be showing you how to avoid any kind of spam emails coming through from your website. Hey, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicola Tweed. I'm a WordPress web designer and developer, and I help female entrepreneurs, giving them the best WordPress website and business tips to create an online business that they love. So if this sounds like something that you would enjoy, then be sure to hit the subscribe button below to get notifications of when my new videos come out. Let's dive into my screen and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do on your website to avoid that nasty spam. Okay, so here I am on my website. I've created a simple contact form using the free WP Forms plugin. Now I have created a previous video that shows you how to create a contact form using this plugin. So be sure to check it out if you're wondering how to create a contact form on your WordPress website. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make sure that we have a Google account set up. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a Google account because we are going to use the free Google anti spam service that they offer in order to create site keys, etc. So let me show you. So from your WP forms, you are going to come here to the left hand side, click on the settings button here and then come to the third tab, which is your capture. Now capture is an anti spam technique, which protects your website and your contact forms from spam and abuse. Okay. There are two types you can choose from here, which is your age capture and your recapture and your recapture is um, a free anti spam service from Google and Google offers three different versions and all three versions are supported with WP forms. So you might have seen the versions around before you've got I'm not a robot or you might see the invisible one that's in the bottom right corner. You might see the challenge, which is version three. Sometimes they ask you how many boats are there or how many traffic lights, etc. Okay, so I'm going to choose recapture. So I'll just click this button here. And then I am going to go to the free anti spam service provided by Google. And to get there, you're going to head to google.com forward slash recapture and make sure you're logged into your Google account. You're going to click on version three admin console. And then in the top right here, you're going to click on this create plus icon. And then you're going to label your recapture. So make it memorable, make it something you can easily recognize, which describes your website. So I'm going to call it um, Nicholas website. And then the, the, as you can see, the next option is to choose your recapture type. And as I mentioned before, the all three are supported by WP forms. Personally, I like recapture version two, and I like the invisible badge. You can of course choose I'm not a robot or version three, which is the challenge. Then you're going to pop in the domain and the domain is Nicola Tweed. Dot com. Make sure it's your domain without HTTPS or www. So it's just nicolatweet.com. And then I'm going to accept terms of service and I'm going to leave this box checked that says send alert to owners. I'm then going to click submit. Once I click submit, I'm going to copy the site key and the secret key and put it back in WP form settings. So I'll copy here. And then I'm going to come down here and paste that in there and copy this one and paste it in here. And then I'm going to select the type that I want. So I want the invisible recapture version two. I can also amend the fail message if I want. So if it fails, what message is going to pop up? And then I'm going to click save settings. Okay, so once I have clicked save settings, I'm going to then head over to my WP forms builder. So I'm going to come to all forms here. I'm going to click on edit, click on this recapture button here on the left. And there you can see it has been enabled. And now we're going to click OK. And we're going to click save. And then we're going to go back to our test form. We're going to refresh our page. 
Once we have refreshed our page, you will see in the bottom right this invisible recapture and we can test our form. And we're going to click Submit. And our contact form is now working. Okay, so that's how easy it is to prevent spam coming through from your website contact form. Now, if you're still not sure how to set up a contact form on your WordPress website, then be sure to check out my last video that I did, which shows you how to create a contact form using the WP Forms plugin. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to hit subscribe if you want more videos like this, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.